For part B, we're asked to use a trapezoidal sum with four subintervals given by the table to approximate the value of 1 8 times definite integral from 0 to 8 of e of t dt. Using correct units, explain the meaning of 1 8 times definite integral from 0 to 8 of e of t dt in terms of the number of entries. So, before we even figure it out, let's explain what this means. What is this formula if we have this 1 8 over definite integral from 0 to 8 of our function? No, we did average rate of change up here, right? That was, that's, but that's okay because that reiterates the point I made yesterday. These two formulas get mixed up all the time. Average rate of change is just like the slope between the endpoints. Right? This is the average value of f, or in this case, the average value of e. Right? So average value, that's the average value of e of t. Right? That's the function. But to kind of write it a little bit nicer than that, um, our value is going to be the average number of entries from t equals 0 to t equals 8. Alright, so that's what this represents. Now we have to figure out what is that average number of entries. So what we're going to do 1 8 times this definite integral. Well, this definite integral we're approximating, it tells us, to approximate it using a trapezoidal sum. And since these intervals are not exactly the same, we can't quite fit it into that trapezoidal sum formula. We have to kind of do it piece by piece. So what I'm going to do is just kind of sketch a little graph. And we've got 2, 5, 7, and 8 along our x-axis or t-axis. And then e of t, this side, we've got 4, 13, 21 and 23. So our graph, we've got 0, 0, so we've got a point right here, 2, 4, 5, 13, 7, 21, and 8, 23. So there's going to be like some curve that goes through these points, but we, what we want to figure out is the area under that curve or approximate it using trapezoids. So we can go straight down from each one of those points and then connect the dots. So we end up with three trapezoids and one triangle here. Again, if these were the same intervals here, we would be able to use kind of a formula to throw in there. But in this case, we kind of have to do each one separately. So for this first one, it's just a triangle. One half, our base is two, height is four. Plus, our next one is a trapezoid, so we have 1 half times base 1, which is going to be 4, this right here, plus base 2 is going to be 13, times our height, 5 minus 2, our height is 3, plus 1 half times, for our next one, we've got 13 for our first base, 21 for the second base, the height, the distance between these two right here, 7 minus 5 is 2 plus 1 half times 21 plus 23 times a base over here, or sorry, a height of 1. So if we go ahead and multiply this all out, we should end up with 10.6875. I know we usually run to three decimals, but this is like an exact answer. So for this, this is our average number of entries from t equals 0 to 8 in hundreds. So we could write 10.6875 hundreds, but I would just go ahead and move the decimal place over two places. So 1,068.75 entries. All right, and remember, we already explained it's the average number of entries from t equals 0 to t equals 8.